Hello everyone. Today we'll learn about preparation of ethers by Williamson synthesis. So this is a name reaction. Um, it was named so on the uh, scientist William uh, Alexander William Williamson. So uh, he uh, said that if uh, alkyl halide reacts with sodium alkoxide, then ether can be formed along with sodium halide. So this was the uh, general reaction of Williamson synthesis. So uh, it was uh, um, this reaction follows SN2 mechanism, and also uh, you can form the uh, tertiary or secondary substituted ether also by this method. But the secondary or tertiary substituted alkyl should be in the sodium alkoxide uh, reactant, not on the alkyl halide reactant. This should be primary because it is SN2 mechanism. So uh, this uh, alkyl halide should be primary alkyl halide because there should be no steric hindrance here on the alkyl halide molecule. Now one more thing that uh, benzene uh, haloarene like uh, bromobenzene or chlorobenzene which have the formula like this haloarene uh, that uh, cannot go Williamson synthesis uh, because because this carbon and halide bond uh, this has double bond character due to resonance so uh, therefore it can't be broken easily it can't be broken easily uh, that's why it won't form ether therefore it can't be it can't uh, produce uh, ether through Williamson synthesis so uh, now uh, let us see one example of this Williamson synthesis reaction by taking alco um, sodium alkoxide as this. Uh, this is tertiary butyl group C uh, carbon is attached to three uh, methyl groups uh, and this is uh, bromo, uh, bromomethane. This uh, alkyl halide is bromomethane we are taking. So SN2 mechanism it involves the uh, nucleophile is attacking on this substrate. So the, cons uh, the rate of reaction depends on the concentration of nucleophile as well as substrate. That's why it is bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction. So this is the nucleophile. This uh, oxygen atom is uh, negatively charged and having lone pair of electrons. So this will attack here on this carbon atom and bromi, uh, bromide ion will leave with sodium atom. So what will fo be formed? This uh, ether will be formed along with sodium bromide. So this is the Williamson synthesis to produce ether. Now uh, why we were saying that alkyl halide should be primary because if here it is secondary or tertiary group uh, in the alkyl halide molecule then what will happen the attack of nucleophile will be hindered due to this steric hindrance. Therefore this should be primary and here this can be tertiary, secondary or primary group. The uh, alkyl group attached to the sodium alkoxide it can be secondary, tertiary or primary. So that's why we can uh, form symmetrical ether or unsymmetrical ether. Symmetrical ether means when both the alkyl groups uh, attached to the oxygen atom are same, then symmetrical ether. When both the alkyl groups on the oxygen atom are different, then they are unsymmetrical ether. So this is unsymmetrical ether because here on the left side there is methyl group and on the right side there is tertiary butyl group. Now if in case you are taking uh, here tertiary alkyl halide, tertiary alkyl halide, then what will happen? This is tertiary alkyl halide uh, and uh, you are taking uh, this uh, uh, sodium alkoxide. So what will happen now? There will be no substitution reaction here. Instead, there will be, uh, there will be elimination reaction. Uh, why? Because uh, now there is steric hindrance here. So 
दिस विल नॉट बी एबल टू अटैक एंड सब्सटीट्यूट हियर टू फॉर्म इथर इन सेट इट विल एक्ट एज बेस दिस सोडियम एल्कॉक्साइड विल एक्ट एज बेस हियर एंड विल एब्सट्रैक्ट हाइड्रोजन फ्रॉम हियर एंड हाइड्रोजन आइटम विल लीव एंड दिस ब्रोमीन विल लीव सो वॉट विल हैपन डबल बॉन्ड कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड विल फॉर्म एंड एल्कीन विल बी फॉर्म and sodium bromide uh, is le uh, left as the by product and also methanol is left as by product so therefore uh, tertiary alkyl halide uh, if used then it will form uh, alkene through elimination reaction uh, now if you want to prepare for example tertiary uh, butyl uh, ethyl ether then what will uh, what will be the reactants you can take so let us see that so if you want to make for example this this ether this is known as tertiary butyl tertiary butyl ethyl ether so now what you will take you can't take tertiary alkyl halide so you can't take tertiary alkyl halide so therefore this tertiary al uh, alkyl group uh, tertiary uh, tertiary butyl group will go to the alkoxide sodium alkoxide part so this is understood that this will go to Uh, sodium alkoxide part now you are left with al uh, ethyl group so ethyl group will be then ethyl group will be then attached to some uh, halide so let us take ch3 ch2 uh, bromide so C, uh, this is c2h5 or ch3 ch2 br so this reaction will give you this ether so uh, and also the side product will be nabr so this is the williamson synthesis to uh, produce uh, tertiary butyl ethyl ether so uh, next one thing more that if you want uh, phen uh, ether from phenol then what you can do then what you can do you can uh, make sodium alkoxide from phenol how this is phenol so you can react it with nabr or naoh to form sodium alkoxide so this is sodium phenoxide so this part you have generated from phenol this sodium phenoxide now what you can do you can add your alkyl halide rx you can add your alkyl halide and you can form the ether you can form the ether this nax will leave nax will leave and this uh, alkyl group get attached to the oxygen atom and you will get your ether so this is how you can uh, produce ether from uh, phenol through williamson synthesis but phenol can be used but this hello erene cannot be used because here you have to break the bond and it is not possible here so uh, this was all about the preparation of ether through williamson synthesis this is an important reaction because it is a name reaction and it is used for the preparation of ether on uh, laboratory and commercial scale so this is one is important so i hope you got this topic today thank you